the haunting messages. In the tranquility of his everyday life, John found himself entwined in an inexplicable web of events. A series of mystifying text messages began infiltrating his digital world. Messages from individuals who should have remained forever silent in the realm beyond. His deceased parents, a childhood friend lost too soon, and even his late partner. Initially dismissing the messages as elaborate pranks or peculiar technological malfunctions, John's skepticism gradually gave way to a sense of bewilderment. The content of the messages transcended randomness, weaving intricate narratives laden with personal memories only he and his departed loved ones shared. The texts seemed to extend an invitation, a beckoning to unearth long-forgotten chapters of his past. Balancing on a tightrope between doubt and curiosity, John summoned the courage to embark on a journey through his own history. He meticulously sifted through faded photo albums, unearthed moth-eaten diaries, and retraced the labyrinthine corridors of his past. The enigmatic messages appeared less like mere relics of a bygone era, and more like breadcrumbs guiding him toward concealed truths. As the days merged into nights, John's quest intensified. The messages seemed to demand he confront suppressed secrets, unveiling grievances buried deep within the layers of time. These long-buried truths emerged as cryptic enigmas that once laid bare now clamored for resolution. Yet, the messages morphed into darker narratives. They began predicting events yet to unfold, ominous premonitions of future accidents, impending loss, and betrayals on the horizon. John's life transformed into a tapestry of anxiety and dread, every decision tinged with an unsettling anticipation of looming calamity. Fueled by an insatiable urgency, John traced the trail of enigmatic messages to an ancient, dilapidated house on the town's fringes. Within the time-worn walls, reality merged with the supernatural. The room he entered was like an intersection between dimensions, a place where time and space converged in a mystifying dance. Here, John encountered a disquieting revelation a room festooned with screens, each projecting ethereal messages from beyond. The screens painted an evanescent tableau, a montage of images and text messages, each seemingly a testament to a life left behind. John discerned the essence of the messages, a plea for liberation, an appeal to relinquish the grip on lingering connections. The realization struck with haunting clarity. It was John's yearning for the departed that anchored them to this realm. His very desire to rekindle communication inadvertently fettered their souls to the material plane, preventing their ethereal progression. The messages themselves were a lament, an imploring song of freedom, entreating John to sever the chains of attachment. Amidst the gravity of the realization, the room transformed into an abyss, the screens fading into darkness. Standing alone in the void, John's phone emitted one final vibration. A text materialized, simple yet poignant, a message from his late partner, brimming with forgiveness and a love undying. With tears tracing their path down his cheeks, John made his choice. He responded, a message suffused with comprehension and acceptance. As his reply vanished into the void, the screens dimmed, the room turned silent, and John was left in solitary contemplation. Emerging from the house, John carried with him the echoes of his transcendent encounter. Regret and guilt metamorphosed into understanding, a poignant realization etched into the very core of his being. He now comprehended that the messages had functioned as conduits leading him to the precipice of reconciliation and closure. John's life progressed, marked by the imprints of his journey. The messages were no longer haunting specters. 
The resonance lingered as a testament to the ephemeral boundary separating existence and the afterlife. With time, he internalized their profound lesson, a harmony between life and death, and the solace that accompanies letting go. As the days turned into weeks, John's life became an intricate tapestry, woven with the threads of the past and present. The haunting messages had become an integral part of his existence, an ever-present reminder of the ethereal bridge he had crossed. They were no longer mere words on a screen. They had evolved into a narrative that guided his decisions and illuminated his path. With each new message, John felt a sense of responsibility to honor the connection he had established with the departed. He delved into his memories seeking out forgotten stories and shared experiences. The messages acted as keys, unlocking chambers of his mind that had long remained sealed. However, the messages also took on a somber hue. They spoke of challenges he would face, trials he would endure, and losses he would inevitably suffer. Each prediction came true, casting a shadow over his life. Yet, Amidst the hardships, the messages continued to guide him, offering him solace and direction. One day, a message arrived that struck him with a chilling premonition. It spoke of an impending tragedy, a moment that would alter the course of his life forever. Despite his attempts to alter fate, the event unfolded exactly as foretold. John was left grappling with grief and a sense of powerlessness questioning the extent to which his actions were governed by destiny. As he navigated the aftermath of the tragedy, the messages took on a new urgency. They revealed hidden layers of meaning, shedding light on the interconnectedness of all things. John became consumed by a desire to decipher their enigmatic wisdom, to understand the purpose behind his encounters with the departed. His obsession led him to seek out others who had experienced similar phenomena. Online forums and support groups became his sanctuary, a place where he could share his story without fear of skepticism. He discovered a community bound by shared experiences, a network of individuals who had crossed the threshold between life and the unknown. Amidst this community, John found camaraderie and understanding. He exchanged stories with others who had received messages from beyond, and together they pieced together the intricate puzzle of existence. Through their collective wisdom, John learned that the messages were not merely a means of communication. They were a reflection of the interconnected web of life itself. As the years passed, John's perspective shifted. The messages that had once haunted his nights now illuminated his days. He no longer feared the unseen or dreaded the future. Instead, he embraced the messages as a testament to the enduring bond between the living and the departed. And so, John's life continued, entwined with the messages that had once plunged him into uncertainty. With time, he came to realize that the messages were not meant to be deciphered or controlled. They were meant to be embraced and accepted as a part of the ever-unfolding narrative of existence. On a quiet evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, John received a final message, a message that carried a profound sense of closure. It spoke of gratitude, of lessons learned, and of a journey well-traveled. With a bittersweet smile, he replied, knowing that this was the end of an era. As the screen dimmed, John felt a gentle breeze sweep through the room as if carrying with it the whispers of those who had once communicated through the messages. With a heart full of understanding and a spirit unburdened by uncertainty, he closed his eyes and whispered a silent farewell to the departed. And so, the messages ceased, leaving behind a legacy of interconnectedness and acceptance. John's journey had come full circle a testament to the enduring power of communication that transcends the boundaries of life and death.